Here's lesson number four. So far, you learned the following. Lesson number one, why prospects won't give you an appointment. Lesson number two, how to get an appointment with almost 100% of the prospects you talk to. And lesson number three, how to get your presentation down to one minute. Today, you'll learn lesson number four, what your prospects really want to know. But what information does the prospect really want to know? Ah, there's the $1 million question. In order for a prospect to make an immediate decision to, one, say he wants to join your business, two, say he doesn't want to join your business, or three, to maybe have a question or two, you must answer three basic questions. That's it. After this point in your career, your prospect only wants the answers to three basic questions. If you answer these three questions, your prospect will have enough information to make a decision. If the decision is to join your business, all those other facts, figures, and information can be learned later on in training. Simple, yes? So let's take a look at question number one. Question number one, what kind of business are you in? Would you ever join a business if you didn't know what kind of business it was? Of course not. If you are confused or unclear about what type of business you are asked to join, you still wouldn't join. We must be perfectly clear what type of business we are in or our prospects will delay their decision because we didn't answer the question clearly. I bet you have heard your prospects say, I gotta think it over. So what type of business are you in? Insurance, sport fishing, farming, Mechanical repair, circus performance, soldier of fortune, landscaping, nuclear medicine, shoe repair. So your prospect wants to know. I was in Atlanta about 10 years ago. And when I asked the networker, what type of business are you in? And they replied, I'm in the global search for entrepreneurial talent for time freedom and financial freedom, whereby they can enhance their efforts through multiple streams of residual income thereby improving their lifestyle. Well, you get the idea. No wonder this networker was having a hard time sponsoring. The prospects had no idea what kind of business he was offering. How do you describe your business? Do you say, I'm a distributor with a wonderful company from the wonderful city started in the wonderful year of 1991 by Mr. Wonderful, who is a wonderful, wonderful family man and we have wonderful products and wonderful employees, wonderful shipping, wonderful uplines, wonderful blah, 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 blah. Or do you say, I'm in the skincare business? And the prospect thinks you make bandages for cuts or maybe you, you do skin grafts. I'm in a health and wellness business. And the prospect thinks that you change bedpans at the local nursing home. I'm in the financial service industry. Then the prospect thinks that you are a bank teller. If you don't know how to describe your business, here's an easy way that should help, which means, okay? When you describe your business, you should use the which means words to connect your business to one of your products or services. This helps the prospect understand exactly what you do in your business. One example, try this. I'm in the skincare business, which means that we have the wonderful moisturizer that makes your skin look 20 years younger in only 45 seconds a day. I'm in the health and wellness business, which means that we have a delicious juice that people drink that helps them wake up an hour early every morning feeling like a million dollars and fall asleep at night within seven minutes of their head hitting the pillow. I'm in the financial service industry, which means that we help families lower their mortgage credit card, and car payments so that they have more money for fun things and retirement. See the difference? Now your prospect knows exactly what kind of business you're in. Don't forget those magic words, which means, as it will guide you to a better description of the type of business you are in. Now for question number two. I'll see you in a few days, so stand by for lesson number five, where we'll learn the second question the prospect needs to know to make an immediate decision to join your business. It's going to be easy. To meet again, you guys have a great day. Take care.